and Donovan Mitchell, the back-to-back -back Eastern Conference Players of the Week. Rare air right now as the Cavs win the tip a la way. I'll be selling with it, but they uh, came back and beat the Bulls on Monday. Jared McCain picking up where he left off last night. Those of you who are maybe just tuning in to see this young star, short on the three. Jared with 23 off the bench last night. Career high 27 in the overtime win over the Hornets here on Sunday. Oubre from the right wing. And that's good news for Kelly. Oubre over to Martin. Kane shot fake with the drive high off the window. Just a little bit too short. Usually when they are hesitant like that, the shot doesn't go in, but Okoro had so much time. Here's Yabusele answering back for the Sixers. Service members in attendance tonight, all of them. Well, when they say the few and the proud, they literally mean it. Only about 1 to 2 percent of United States citizens serve in the military. So thank you for your service. And thank you, Gershon Abu Sele. Leaves it for McCain. Between the legs, the scoop. No good for Jared McCain. Well, uh, right down Broad Street, right down the middle of the lane in the heart of the Cavalier defense. Needed a start like this from Kelly tonight as Garland answers right back for Cleveland. Mentioned Darius, the Eastern Conference Player of the Week, Ala, and you mentioned he's just looking as smooth as ever alongside Donovan Mitchell. And he is a problem turning that corner against the pick and roll. What do you do because he's so good at dishing or finishing himself? Caleb coming off a season high tying 17 points to the loss of the Knicks last night. Got a move. Guys are just standing around watching got one guy dribble. Shot clock about to expire. McCain stops. Rebound Lowry. Then got ill. Then Isaac Okoro took over. And even though Wade came back from that illness November 8th against Golden State, Kenny Atkinson has liked what he saw from Okoro in the starting lineup and Wade coming off the bench. McCain from the way. Four and a half to go. First quarter. Sixers with an 18-17 lead. Levert keeps it this time after the ball fade to Wade in the corner. And a lot more playing time with Tyrese Maxey sideline at the moment with that strained right hamstring. Drive and kick. Martin all day in the corner. And Caleb makes the Cavs pay. It's added dimension to this team offensively, especially for their second unit. He scored double figures in five of the last six. Only he had 12 as McKay knocks it away from Mobley. But that was a fun game, and they see the Bulls again this Friday. McKay has a shot blocked by the aforementioned Karis Levert. Bona picks it up. Jeff Dalton, too strong on the three. He's shooting the ball much better pregame, Mitchell. Thankfully for us, he's a little cold. Shots are off. And the Martin to McCain. Touch pass to Jackson in the corner for three. Last night during the national broadcast, so I wanted to make sure we recognize him as well here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Jared McCain getting his first start. Danny Abusele. Gershon, the no look bounce pass. McCain from the wing, making 11 and counting for Jared McCain. So his player development coach Rico Hines Numbers. over there on the bench, standing and cheering. Wow. McCain. For Jared Allen. Too many. Well, Ananobi had a whole bunch last night yeah. too, didn't he? Six, I think. McCain trying to scoop it up, skims off. Yabusele out to McCain. Jared again. Hesitation from Garland and then left to dribble out in front. Ahead it comes to McCain. Jared McCain, two more to the tally. McCain with the Sixers' last 10 points, a 49 yeah. 41 lead. McCain just short. It's out of bounds. Next year, out of Vanderbilt, Darius Garland with the runner. Here's Jared McCain with those 16 first half points, trying to sneak it around. I talked to him about the Sixers' first half lead, and I, I mentioned the numbers from three, and he laughed, and he said 10 for 26, we'll take it. At one point, we made 5 of 15, and we thought maybe we'll stray away from the three bar. And the Cavs agree with you, signing him to a three-year, $38 million extension in the offseason. Speaking of built to last, this rookie, it's stripped, thought he was found. Mobley is going to have to be a guy that they rely heavily on. He has to be productive. Double doubles in back to back games coming into this one for Mobley. McCain lost the handle, but Coral has it. Handle is so tight on Garland, uses that dribble to get around the floor to places he's comfortable. McCain with his fifth triple tonight, needed that from the rookie. Good to be held down for four quarters. You just hope you don't hear from him often as the game goes down the stretch. 
Kane too strong. Mitchell the rebound. Opportunities, the long extended defensive exchange. Donovan picking these sixer defense apart. McCain leading all sixers with 19. Wow. From Justin. McCain getting his first NBA start tonight, and he has been sensational. Doubled, tough shot. 4.48 to go in this third quarter. McCain. Still drafted so very high, it speaks to the value that he has and how people perceive his game. McCain off the heel, Allen ahead to Garland. McCain off the heel, Allen ahead to Garland. Cavs have scored on nine of their last ten trips. The Yang, the catch and shoot. Off front iron, McCain the rebound. Good challenge fight, good challenge fight. KJ Martin on that George Yang attempt. McCain driving the kick. Gordon for three. In this third quarter for Darius Garland. Jackson with his first double figure game as a sixer. Reggie's got 10. McCain hits the brakes and hits the mid range. 23 and counting for McCain. Darius Garland with 13 of his 23 in the third as the Cavs outscored the Sixers 34 24. That's what I was thinking. Kane. Cross court to Jackson. Reggie Jackson is good from outside. Yeah. Looks like it was coming down. But kind of shot it down at the rim. So we'll give him that one. McCain making 25 and counting for Jared McCain. He likes getting to that spot on the floor. Six years, my goodness. He was actually drafted by the Sixers in 2019. And then sent to Boston in that Matisse Thibel trade. Has had some English on it. McCain floats it off the window and in 29 and counting for McCain. 16th overall pick in the NBA draft. And Sixers fans so happy to have him. McCain around and off. Allen the rebound. And that's why you get back on defense just to offer up a little resistance. Get your hands up. Well, McCain was asking for it in the corner. Jared McCain making it rain himself Philly tonight. The Hornets in overtime Sunday beat the Pacers in OT a couple weeks ago. Jared McCain looking tremendous in his first NBA start. Caleb Martin off the McCain pass, and Martin beats the buzzer for three. Did not expect that, and neither did Mitchell. He had his hands on his heads going over the bench, and now he's still back, pouting in front of the Cavs bench as McCain drives and draws the foul. Points, nine assists, one away from his first career triple-double. And he's got his team up seven. As McCain. To his bench, because his teammates are like, shoot that thing. McCain, and that lefty layup. And that shot gets him at 50% for shooting tonight. The Cavaliers, they were not shooting the ball well. Are a great case study for folks who haven't seen the Cavs yet this year as to why they came into tonight's game 12 and 0, because. A lot of teams, like the Sixers, thought they had a shot. The Cavs had to rally back from double figures in a number of their wins. Corner short, Martin ahead to McCain. Makes the three, launches the three. That one's short. Abuselli still working for it. Great effort from Gershon. Jackson from the corner, no. So incredible effort from an extremely shorthanded Sixers squad. But these Cavs, the best team in the NBA for a reason. And they showed it the final few minutes of this fourth quarter as Cleveland improves to 13-0 to start the year.